previously on Forever's End. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Yes! Ah, ha, ha, ha. I knew it! And now back to Lingardia. Hey, this is Afa back with a Let's Play Forever's End. When we last left off, we defeated Spyro the Dragon in human form, whose name was like Ga Gandharava, so, something like that. It was it's Gun Gandhar. Gand there was a G and a D and a V and an R and an N, and I forget. There's A's also in the name. I forget exactly, but uh, we beat him up. Him and his dolls. Uh, and now we're in Lee once more. And I know that I'm uh, a little out of order here. I should be I should be playing a Code Lyoko game next, but I wanted to see what happened with Lee. I feel like we didn't actually do much with him, even though we beat a boss. We didn't actually do much, so let's let's go. Let's go over here and do some more jumping. Um, um, I, I don't want to, you, I, I don't, I don't want, no, hello, hey there dog, oh, and um, I have a bit of a cold, I think, so if my voices are off, that is the reason why, the dog won't talk to me, oh, is this the next map, it is, okay, cool. More world map, woo! All right, I have enough fin, right? Oh, I have more than enough fin. Where can I go? Oh, is that it? Namu Station. Yep, that's what I want. That's a train. That doesn't look like a train. It looks like boats. Whatever. Go. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm a little sick right now. So uh, uh, so if my voices are off or if you hear like sniffling, I'll try to edit all that out. But just, yeah, or drink water to make me feel better. Oh, whatever. Okay. Anyway. Wow, master, look at all the buildings. Look at all the peoples. Peoples. Like, I know that's acceptable. It's like people, peoples. Both both are acceptable, right? I don't know. It just... Really? Peoples? Really? Whatever. English is weird. Me fail English? That impossible. Yeah, I have to admit, it's a nice... Uh, it's nice seeing a village outside really up for a change. Is that where he's from? I forget. It seems like a pretty pleasant place to live. That's it, I've had it! Get your drunken ass out of my bar! Get your drunken ass out of my bar. It's probably better. And don't you show your face in here again! Yes. Have it your way. I had bitter beer birthday parties. Wait, that didn't, that didn't come out right. Man, I, st I stink I overdid it. I better go sit, st st sit down. <laughs> little sweat drop. Hey, man. What's up? Hmm, apparently there are some fugitives on the loose up north. It's me, Batman. And me, Elise. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, hopefully they don't make their way down here. Uh, no, they're in another dimension right now, sir. Okay. Hello, sir and madame. My love for you is as vast as the ocean blue. Oh, John! Master, what are these people doing here? 
Is man trying to get something out of lady's mouth? Nah, they're making it out. Um, not exactly. Making out. Probably. Hey. Public display the PDA. PDA, huh? Get a room or something. Let me watch. No, Lee. Don't watch. Don't watch them. This is a person. It is! <laughs> that person blends in with the scenery pretty well. It looks like- it, it kinda looks like he was a chair. Hit me up, barkeep! Uh, I think you've had enough. I'll tell you when I've had enough. Now hit me, damn it! And then someone just like punches him in the face. Haha, <laughs> you told me to hit you, so I did. Ha 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 ha. Wow. That's nothing. I. I didn't think kids were allowed in bars. I am a. I'm a rebel, man. I am a rebel. You cannot tell me what to do. Your laws cannot hold me down. No. Hmm, that's strange. Didn't Cyrus come here with somebody? Is Cyrus the drunk guy? Probably. I should have known better than to come here when Cyrus was around. He always gets so rambunctious. It's impossible to have a quiet drink. That's Cyrus. He's such a foul, loathsome, despicable man. And yet I've never been more turned on. Oh my god, really? Really? Ugh, why? I mean, if you're into that. But you just said he sucked. Why would you be into him? He sounds like he's not that great a guy. You deserve someone better, lady. You deserve someone who's, you know really cool and like you know treats you like a person and isn't foul and, uh, unless of course you are also uh, uh, you know what just 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 make sure you're safe lady okay make sure you know what you're getting yourself into and and you know he's not gonna hurt you and and or be a toxic uh, force in your life um, you know just make sure you're both okay. Alright? Cool. Miner. I just came from the northern continent to visit my family over in Lowland Village. It should be a nice break from all of the excavation we've been doing. Excavation of what? Precursor technology. It's some pretty amazing stuff far ahead with anything we've managed to develop. Look at this town, for instance. That train has transformed this harbor into one of the busiest spots in Lingardia. However, I do wonder sometimes what could have happened to the precursors. It's like they just vanished. Um... What did happen to them? Did we find that out yet? It's pretty wild stuff. Did we find out what happened to them? I feel like we did. I'm not sure if all the excavations are the best idea. Hey, didn't you just sound like that other guy? Oh, maybe. We may end up digging something that wasn't meant- that doesn't want to be dug up. Yeah, like freaking explosives or something, right? You- you- you dig it up and it just explodes on you? <laughs> that would suck, right? Anyway, I'm gonna get me some alcohol. Every time Cyrus comes strutting in here, it's the same thing. He ends up over drinking and hitting on some random woman. He may be my best customer, but I can't keep having him drive away my other guests. Okay, so Cyrus. Seems to be quite the character. 
that I bet is totally gonna we're gonna meet him. Oh, you're Cyrus, aren't you? I'm gonna avoid talking to you for a little bit. Just in case that triggers something. And go over here and loot your house. Daddy seems so sad lately. I wish I could cheer him up. Maybe I'll pick him a big cake. If mommy teaches me how to use the oven. Okay. I'm gonna loot your house, Cyrus. Lunar blade. Nice. And that's another, uh... Thing. I, I, I realize I, I have all of the, um... I got the thing for the frost bomb. But yeah, no, I never actually made it. Yeah. So now I can use frost bomb, which probably would have helped me with that boss make it a little shorter a fight. I, I was fighting that boss for like half an hour. It was ridiculous. Alright, I looted your house. I'm pretty sure you're not mad at me, right? Wait, what did I do? Shark? No. Hey, lady. My, I keep my fingers on the enter key and I keep. Yeah, okay. My husband seems so down these days since he lost his job. Sailing has was his life. Without it, he just seems like a shell of what he used to be. I suppose the only thing he can do is change with the times. Yep. I guess so. Alright, so Cyrus is depressed because he had his job taken away and so he's drinking himself into a stupor. Do I have that right? Without any ships to sail, my only... Uh, I keep... I keep pressing the enter key and then without meaning to, I don't... Whatever. Without any ships to sail, my only option is to wait for the outsider who needs help manning a ship. I need help manning a ship. At this rate, it's gonna be a real struggle to provide for my family. I need a ship. I need a ship. I need a ship. Okay. You're not gonna give me a ship, are you? Heck yeah, save point. I'm part of the Recalion excavation team. My partner and I are the pit stop here to make some sub to pick up some supplies. I think he's over at the magic shop right now gathering some heraldry books. Ooh, heraldry books. I'm helping grandma I'm helping grandma by making the beds. She said that once I'm old enough I'll be able to run the inn all by myself. Oh my goodness. So you're an inn, aren't you? 200 fin. Uh, no. Spend 200 fin and save myself here. Or... You know what? No. I'm gonna... Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. I have 7,000 fin. I thoroughly enjoyed that music. I hope you enjoyed your stay. Please come again. Thank you, lady. Cool, yo. Cool, yo. Go out the door, Lee. Hey, boy, what you looking at? Mama says that we need to leave town soon. She said it has something to do with Recalia. I don't understand adults. are highly resistant to most types of magic. In those situations, a weapon would most definitely be invaluable. So what you're saying is I'm about to run into a bunch of enemies that are resistant to magic, and I should definitely upgrade my weapon. Ooh, everything 
ups up agility, but then this up agility. Sweet. And hold out. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Awesome. Let's go. Listening to those guys whining about research funding. Gosh, some of the greatest researchers in the world were able to get by with hardly any funding at all. Alright. How about you? Damn that, Richard. Because he's been pouring all of her Kelly's fund into weapons and training soldiers, there is hardly any left for us. How can I be expected to study anything if I don't get the proper resources at my disposal? I don't know, man. Sounds like a problem. Some kinetic extract. Thank you, my friend. Kaya shards are here somewhere. I know it. Ooh, tiny. How do I get up there? Can I get up there? How? There's no way to get up on the roof. Then how is that guy there? Is that just one of those impossible things that you can never get to? Let's see, that looks like it's attached to the inn. Or this shop. Is there an upstairs here? No. <sighs> Fine. Be like that. Just, just go ahead and be like that. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't frustrate me or anything. Not at all. Uh, there's just a place just sitting there and you can't get to it. Just can't get to it. Whatever. It's between you and me. I hate that stupid tramp. I miss a freaking part. Start over, please. Oh my god. Okay. Oh no! Uh, it's just something about the ship. I thought you were gonna do the whole thing again, dude. You're killing me! Aww. Okay, I'll only put my, in my hand on the enter button once I'm ready to, like, press it. <sighs> Ugh, you. I'm helping. I'm helping with with Richard's excavation team, Lova and Macalia. I'm hoping to learn a little bit of magic to help fight off those wretched beasts that keep wandering into the tunnels. Is this the heraldry shop? I can see your future. You are buying some magic from me. Sure, why not? Honestly, I am not gonna do that. Not right now. Not. I'm not feeling heraldry right now. Have you heard? Apparently, Dorrance is holding a tournament of arms. Yeah, that's right. I uh, hear fighters from all over Lingardia are going to be participating. It should make for a great show. I'll have to ask my wife to get some tickets. Cool. Hey, little butterfly. I love you. Oh. Hey. Monster capturing has sort of has become sort of a hobby to me has sort of become a hobby to many these days. Like, but 
Pokemon. Yeah. Woo. Gotta catch them all. Who's excited for Pokemon Go? I know I am. I'm gonna catch me some Dragonites. <laughs> Dragonites. I hear people are actually using their captured monsters to do battle with one another in local competitions. Oh my god, it's... <laughs> The <laughs> free Pokemon training in Recalia. This is great. Never thought people would turn something that was initially for research into something recreational. Yeah, the freaking Pokemon training. This is great. I like this. I'm a fan. <gasps> They're in barrels too. Oh my god. No. No, I probably missed some. I didn't know they were. I thought they were just in the pots. Oh no. Oh man. Okay. Stamina shard. Who has the least stamina? There's no free thing for stamina. Oh, max HP. Oh, okay. Uh, Lee. MP. Okay, whatever. What can I get for you? How do I reach you? There's random people I can't reach. It's really annoying. Alright, where am I going? Exactly. Oh, a Gaia Shard. I almost missed a Gaia Shard, man. That would have been horrible. Oh. This is a staircase. I didn't see that. Okay. Hey, buddy. Is she alive? I'm not sure. Okay. I'm waiting for my wife to come back with money for the train tickets. It took her until we walked all the way to the station and to realize she forgot her purse. But she didn't forget her organs. Haha, <laughs> organs. It took her until we walked through, walked all the way to the station and realized she forgot her purse. My microphone keeps turning. I swear that women can be so forgetful sometimes. What, what happened again? Money for train tickets. Uh, she forgot her purse and there she can, she can be. You can't board the train without a ticket. Okay. I just wanted to go on the tracks, man. I didn't know. Hey, boy, what can I do for you? Is this the train to the northern continent? It is indeed. 200 fin per person. I thought it was 300. 200? We thought it was 300. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. At least we, uh, we'll have... 200 left over. I'm sorry, son, but I can't sell tickets to miners. What? But we desperately need to get a ride. That guy's gonna buy it for us. I'm sorry, son. There's nothing I can do. It's policy. Crap. Now what are we supposed to do? Now what are... Hello, I'm Lee. I don't know, this is, the voice is a little off today, don't you think? Goldo, can we get a ride? Doesn't look like it. Hey kid. I heard about your issue over there with the train tickets. Yeah, what about it? 
I was thinking I might be able to give you a hand. Whoa, really? You would do that for Goldo and Master? Stop calling me Master. It's kind of weird. Sure, why not? I'm a pretty generous guy. Of course. I'm gonna need you guys to pay for my ticket. I spent all the money I had on boots. Huh, oops. <gasps> oh, is this the guy? There's... Okay, there's... There, I get... I get my icons from the official site that did this game, um, which is just like the icons they have in battle. Um, and there's this one guy who I haven't run into yet, and I think this is him. I, I think his name was Cyrus. Okay, yeah, I think this is him. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, he doesn't look like the voice I'm giving him though. Uh, what does he- He looks kind of goofy. He's like... Hey, don't give me that look. I need alcohol in order to function. Isn't that more like an addiction? Alright, anyway, do we have a deal? Do we have a deal? Not like we have a choice. This is our only way of getting off this continent. <sighs> so much for the extra 200 fin. Dude, you have way more than that. You have 1,200 fin right now. I'd like to buy three tickets, please. Of course, sir. Here you are. Thanks. There you go. Thanks, that was a big help. Thank you for the free ticket. I owe you guys one. Well, if I'm gonna go see if they have complimentary drinks on board. Who's gonna me to? Bye. Gonna go get me some alcohol. Hmm. We never did get the guy's name. It's Cyrus, dude. It's it's Cyrus. Ooh, the fire alarm stopped. And a cutscene. Whoa! So badass. <laughs> Master Goto, so excited. Me too, come on, let's go. So it's like a freaking teleport train. Alright, well, before I talk to anybody, let's see. Okay, what do y'all got to say? Come down, honey, we need to wait for mommy first. I want a red chain! Ugh. What the hell did my wife pack in this thing? I can't move it an inch. Why does your voice... Why does your voice keep cracking, man? You're like a full-grown man. Voice cracking is for puberty. I don't know! I can't steal your- I, I could steal some of your stuff, that would make it lighter. Aw, oh, man, go away. Hey, buddy. <gasps> Mercenary! Sorry, I don't have time for chit-chat. Why would you tell me you're a mercenary? What's making that noise? What's making the noise? Oh, it's that dude moving stuff. All right, mercenary. You? I can't wait to get off this continent. I am sick of Richard and his power politics. Same. 
I'm planning to head back up north to meet the excavation team. Hopefully we take up something worthwhile this time. Come here for a frosty beverage to take with you on this trip. Um, no thanks. Sorry, I'm underage. Come on, we need to hop aboard before the train departs. Don't you get sassy with me, you little wit for snapper. I'll leave and I'm damn well ready. Okay. This is why I hate traveling. Oh, I knew giving him sugar before the train ride was a bad idea. Then why'd you do it? Huh? Because you're... Chain! 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 It's okay, at least you're not like that other kid. Remember in like the fourth or fifth episode, there was one kid who was just like running around like freaking like ten times the speed of a normal character. And then it's like screaming about sugar. My friend needs to hurry up or he'll miss the train. Train, 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 What if I just said train the whole rest of the playthrough? Like, didn't even say words anymore, just train. These tickets are from the next car over, so I'll put there. I mean, it's not like a good seating. You can't just like. Pick no, you must sit exactly here. Tickets, please. Here you go. Thank you. You can sit anywhere you like. Anywhere. Okay, fine. I guess. Uh, I guess maybe it's like lower class, upper class. I don't know. All right, bye. Going on a train. Gonna go through the clouds. Master Golda find us somewhere to sit. Bye, Golda. Hey, wait up, Golda. Wanna talk to everyone? Oh. <gasps> oh my god, a cat girl? I tripped on a cat girl. Yeah? Hey, why don't you watch where you're going, you little brat? Yeah. Can I just in that? <laughs> oh my god. What on LaGuardia was her problem? I don't know, she's just a cat. She's a girl. Is Master alright? Master's face is all red and covered in dirt. Is the ground made of dirt? Ew. It's nothing, let's just enjoy the ride. You know, the fact that that there was an NPC I talked to outside who said he was a mercenary it kind of makes me a little nervous. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it's like you're on a train and it's like, hold up, you know, we're stealing everything from the train. Ah! And then we have to fight someone on the train or something. I have a feeling this isn't going to go super smoothly, especially considering this music is all like uh, heroic and... You know, like, yeah, we're doing it, we're going, and then it's gonna, like, cut off at some point and be like, oh, something's going horribly wrong. Because, you know, that's what usually happens in stories. When things are going really well, some shit is about to go down. That's usually how it happens. Um... <sighs> Attention passengers, we will be departing from Maple Station in approximately five minutes. I ask that everyone now please take their seats. I will be surprised if this train ride goes smoothly. I wonder how fast this thing goes. Probably, since it's in the air, probably pretty damn fast. It's probably pretty aerodynamic. Bulldog hopes really, really fast. Attention everyone, the train is now departing Nambu Station. New
Go train, go! That is not as fast as I expected it. Oh, it's going faster! Oh my god, is it gonna get all the way there without getting freaking hit by something? Am I just being pessimistic? Oh, nope, nope, we're still, we're in the train and we're not stopped yet, okay. So, uh, let's see. Master, look, we're moving real fast. Goldo can barely see the water moving. Oh, Goldo feeling kinda dizzy. Hey, try not to stare down at the water, Goldo. It'll only make you dizzier. Ugh. <laughs> uh. I told you not to. Hey, Cyrus. I think. No, wait. Maybe? Is that Cyrus? Man, now where could it be? Excuse me, do you know how to open those? Where the oh yeah, it's Cyrus. Do you know where the open bar is on this contraption? Um, I don't think they have one. Seriously, I don't have one. Drag. I thought that was a necessity for all forms of transportation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh well, at least I brought my flask with me. You drunk. That you owe me over at least until we reach the next station. Huh. I do have a feeling I'm forgetting something important. Meh. It's probably nothing. Man, I hope they have a bathroom on this thing. I gotta take a piss like a race. What an odd man. Yet his attitude seems fake somehow. Like there's an entirely different side to him that he, like there's an entirely different side to him that he's not showing. Whatever, it isn't any of my business. It's entirely your business, Lee. Feeling better? Oh yes. Goldo feeling much. I freaking knew it! I knew it! Uh, I knew <laughs> I called that I called that Ooh I'm really proud of myself right now I mean it's gonna suck for these guys But I'm proud of myself How the train stopped moving Y'all about to get Screwed over The mercenary gonna attack you And it auto scrolled uh, So I didn't see what it said Goldo He's, he's fro- Oh, my. Ooh. Somebody froze time. He's frozen. They're all frozen. It's as if time has completely stopped. And that is precisely what has occurred, right? No, okay. That would have been a perfect place for the villain to come in, but whatever. Or for Cyrus to come in and be like, Haha, I knew this was going to happen the whole time. What's going on? Lee. Who's there? Show yourself. Zanziba. I don't know who that is. It's just me, Lee. Oh, it's the dad. Okay. Lee, it's just me, Lee. Father, is that really you? <gasps> it's happening. The thing where he's possessed and he's gonna fight his son. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. I'm so excited. Yes. Tropes are great. Where you're like someone you're close to. 
turns evil and then you have to fight them but you're like i don't want to fight them but you have to anyway because they're evil now and if you don't you can't progress in the story uh, but you feel really really shitty about doing it but you do anyway and i'm this, this is just great this is great i love it of course it is son don't you recognize me I... I thought you were killed. Lee, you've done well protecting that key. I know it's been a heavy burden, but now your part is over. G give me the key, son. I'll protect it from now on. Ho oh, ho ho! Ho ho, you sneaky, sneaky little man! What's wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? Is that really all you can say to me? Aren't you the slightest bit relieved to see that I'm safe? Of course I am. How can you th even think that? But right now, we need to focus on our duties as guardians. This key needs to be protected. Oh, you just put your foot in your mouth. You never told him you were a guardian. Or maybe. Well, that's why I need you to give it to me, so that it's safe. First answer me this. What was Mother's name? What? How was this relevant to- Just answer the question, Father. That is assuming you really are my dad. What was Mother's name? Answer me. I see. You seem to think I'm not in the right mind. I'm just pointing up disappointed at what little faith you have in me, Lee. Just answer the question, man. I mean, you're a, if you avoid the question, you make it seem... If, if he, it's him being possessed, then he, he should still have the information in his mind. So, even if it's someone else directly controlling him, he could probably access that information and just say the mom's name. But as it is right now, you're screwing yourself over, man. There we go. Good. Sandra. Her name was Sandra. I married her at age at the age of 24. Okay, good, 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 good. You're not as stupid a villain as I was thinking you were. She was a sight to behold. I was always mesmerized by her flowing blonde hair and baby blue eyes. I've never seen a more beautiful woman. Every night after you were born, she would tell me, tell, tell you tales of the Crusaders, and then lull you to sleep with a soothing song. She passed away six months ago from a brain tumor. You didn't leave your room for three days. Okay, but did, do they have the technology to like know what a brain tumor is? Whatever. Are you satisfied now? Father, it really is you. Hug! Aww. Oh, Lee, you're about to get crushed! <laughs> you're about to get crushed! I'm so sorry for doubting you. I just had to be sure. It's okay, son. I will take care of everything from now on. Father? <gasps> oh no! <laughs> oh! What a disappointment you've been to think. Hi. Really, as great as Crystal Guardian, could have such a pathetic excuse for a son. <coughs> Father, why? Why? You really ask? Do you have any idea what it's like to be the father of a coward, of a son too afraid to fight for himself? 
My sword skills used to strike fear into my enemies. Now they laugh at me. If I can't even control my son, how can I be feared as a powerful warrior? Why do you think I never told you about our bloodline? About our duties as guardians? I couldn't possibly entrust you with such a responsibility. I suppose your mother is partially responsible. She spoiled you terribly. Always letting you skip training when you didn't want to go. Always sprinkling you with love and praise. All this made you weak, not worthy of the son of the great ruler. Stop. Please, stop, Dad. <laughs> Crying again. Pitiful. I can see now that you will never be the great son that I want you to be. And so, I shall relinquish you of your shame. No. Dad, please. Farewell, my son. Oh boy, you're really something else, you know that? Oh! Cyrus to the freaking rescue! Although, I mean, we already got stabbed pretty bad, so I don't know if you can actually save him, but oh! That was this music, I like this. I can dance to this. You definitely won the award for worst death of the year. I have done something nasty things in my life, but not even I could be so cold to strike down my own son. You're one messed up guy. <coughs> you. Dead. Now I'll look after the kid. You should be happy I'm even helping you after all that you left. Uh, after all, you left me behind again, yeah? I'm assuming that's Catgirl. But you're still mad about that. Of course I'm still mad about it. This is the sixth time you left me behind, yeah? It happens every time you drink too much, yeah? It's not my fault you were in the bathroom. It's your fault for getting us thrown in the bar again, dumbass! We'll talk about this later now. It looks like this guy isn't gonna back up. On guard, bitch. <laughs> Is what Cyrus says. How is it that you help? How is it that you aren't frozen? The time spell I cast it should affect everyone in the train except me and myself. Time magic, huh? You really are an old timer. Haven't you seen a technique haven't seen a technique like that in years? Fortunately, the scarf around my face nullifies all types of mag of situational spells, including your time magic. I was pretty lucky though. I almost took it off when I started getting hot and back. So you are nothing more than a lucky fool. <laughs> yep, basically. No matter, step aside. I was spit and I was spare in life. Sorry, no can do. Let's turn this music down just a tad. No can do. I owe this kid for paying for my train ticket. Besides, I can't just let some crazy guy get away with murdering his own kid. That's more like it. While we're at it, allow me to allow me to introduce myself. Some people call me the Drunken Swords Master, but my real name is Whoa! Cyrus Lodestar. Ooh! Alright, well <laughs> on this note, I'm gonna leave it here. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, you thought I was going to fight him. Nah, I'm leaving it for next time. Let's do that. So, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe and uh, leave a comment. You really mean so much to me. And as always, guys, have an awesome day.